So this is the pinata ideas section of my party planning book. On the left over here, I have ideas to show my stepdaughter of pinatas that I could make for her birthday. But she really wanted to stick with the theme of her birthday, which is an underwater, undersea luau with Ariel and Moana. So I printed up that page, as big as it would go on the 8x11 sheet, and behind it are the colors that I use to make the sunset and the water of her pinata. Then I cut out the part of the picture that was the wave because I wanted to make the wave the glittery blue paper. Next I traced around the remaining picture so that I could draw the wave. And this is more, you can kind of draw in pen, but you can kind of see around the edges where the wave is. And then I used a glue stick to glue it onto some uh, poster board, like the thick poster board, I don't remember what it's called, but it's kind of a foam board, I guess. And then I just cut out more shapes to make up more parts of the wave out of the different color, and I started alternating colors to make parts of the wave. And then I wanted to make it a circle very similar to the original photo. And so I decided I was just going to make it like a drum type of pinata. And I made the circle by using a pin in the center and then using a pipe cleaner out with another pin to try and make the circle. And I was having a little bit of issues because I kept, um, I kept moving the pin from the center so I went around it a few times to make sure I got more, of, more or less a perfect circle. And once I had the circle made, I took some scissors and attempted to cut it out. But because the foam board is so thick, that was really difficult. So then I went to the garage and got an X-Acto knife. And that made it a lot easier to cut out to make my circle. And then the next part for the back, because I was making a drum, so the front and the back kind of needed to match in shape, I used the outline from the cutout I had and an Amazon box and I drew another circle onto that one so that the circle would kind of match the front circle. Also, because um, the side of the circle had flaps on it, to strengthen it, I used tape to try and reinforce it to make it more flat, like a big circle, and not flimsy, like something that has flaps on the side. And then I also took from the sides of the Amazon box just um, strips of it so that I could make the center piece that goes around the center of the circles to make the drum sides. So then I grabbed the spray paint and I spray painted one side of the cardboard pink and the other side I flipped over and painted blue and I actually ran out of blue so one side more is pink than the other. Um, not a big deal. Anyways, the reason that I did paint this cardboard instead of just leaving it blank cardboard is that I wanted it to have that extra finish so it looked a little nicer when it got broken open and wasn't just cheap, boring cardboard. No one will notice but me, I'm sure, but it's something I felt like I should do. Now the next part of my project is painting the white foam onto the waves. It wasn't necessary, it still looked fine without it, but I, again, I wanted to add that little extra step. And then this is the back part of the board. And then here I am, I'm just going to glue on the board and make it into a big drum. I used hot glue. And then I used duct tape to reinforce the edges and kind of tape it back together. And then I used a ribbon for the hanging part. Um, I used one piece of ribbon on the top and one piece of ribbon on the bottom. Here it is, I just glued it on and then I also duct taped over it for reinforcement. And I glued the two pieces of the ribbon together at the top to strengthen it. And then of course, after all this work, I realized that I didn't leave a hole in the top to throw, to put candy inside. But then I realized since it's a drum, I still had one side open so I could dump everything in it and then glue on the top part. And then I got to do the fun part, the stuff that goes in the pinata. So the first prize I put in there um, were, was, were shoelaces. Um, I have some Ninja Turtle ones and some Cinderella ones. And then I put some hair clips. The idea was that I wanted to put a lot of cool prizes that weren't just candy because I didn't want candy to melt. However, I still put some candy. And here's the candy that I put. Um, I got some Swedish fish and some other cool stuff. And some chocolate, but not a lot. Just It's been killer hot out here in California and I didn't want things to melt before the party or even during the party and everything be gross. 
And here's some other, some more of the prizes that are uh, non-candy-ish. I put some cool stuff in there, like some stickers, some themed tissues, some pencils for school, little rings. Um, I've got a few jump ropes in there, and here it is, all mixed up, all the candy and prizes together. And this is what the side of the drum looked like before I put uh, the top on. Now, putting the top on the top of the pinata is probably the most difficult part of this whole project. Um, it was just really weird to do. I glued, I used the hot glue gun to try and put glue around the edges. However, it kept dry, like it would dry before I could get it all the way around. So I could only do sections. So that I made up for that by duct taping it on. So it has hot glue and duct tape. And here it is after I glued the top on. I had left it there sitting out for a few days while I was working on other projects. And then I woke up one morning and came into the kitchen and it had spilt open. So obviously it wasn't holding on very well, but it did solve the one of my problems that I thought because I had duct taped everything on that it would be too sturdy and they wouldn't be able to open the pinata. Um, however, I realized once it fell open that it's not that sturdy and they should be able to knock it open pretty well with a stick. So the next important part of the project is gluing on the flowers onto the side of the drum so it's not weird duct tapey. It'll actually be really pretty and floral. And to do that, you have to make the flowers first. Which brings us to making flowers from streamers. Okay, so this part I did in fast forward just to make it a little quicker. So I took the streamers and just folded it back and forth a few times. And then once I felt I had enough, then I go ahead and cut it off and I cut both ends. And I try to round it to make sort of a petal shape, and then I kind of fold it to make it feel more petally. And then I separate them all. And then I start twisting them. So I twist the center one to get that first, first one started, and then I just twist all the petals around it. And that's how you make the flower. You just keep twisting petals around it. And the stem uh, is the part that's really twisty. And I kind of liked having a long stem, so it gave me something to glue onto with. So it wasn't just loose petals. It had the nice stem, and I actually took some tape after and wrapped it around the stem. Uh, I'm still making the flower here. It takes about four to five minutes of flower. So putting flowers on this entire pinata actually took a long time. It took about like two weeks to make all the flowers because I made them little by little. And here it is, I glue, this is me starting to glue the flowers on. And I tried to do them kind of, uh, the flower colors regionally with the part of the pitcher. So the ocean has more blue and the sunset has more sunsetty colors with the orange and pink to really blend in there. And here's the finished product pinata with the pinata bags on the side there. And this is what it looked like hanging up, it actually turned out really great. And then here's a photo of Logan, one of our party guests, taking a swing at the pinata there. And that's about it. I hope this video was helpful. And as always, thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.